Hello again and welcome to the Motors Are Fun website. Now we have a different DC. DC stands for Direct Current Electric Motor. As uh, I mentioned in previously, there are six main parts. There's the power source, and there's the axle. Right here it goes all the way through. On the axle you have the armature, which uh, has a uh, creates a temporary magnet. You have the commutator here. We'll look at that. You have the brushes. And then you have the fixed or static magnet on the bottom. Now, let's look at that. Notice the fixed or static motor, or st fixed or static magnet, is not permanent. It's not made up of permanent magnet. It, it is windings. You have to wind it around a certain amount of times, and that is what creates, creates the electromagnetic force on the armature. Now, the armature, you have a certain number of windings there. You can kind of see uh, it's made up of two pieces of metal. Notice here that the, the wire coming off of this coil goes to this side of the, the commutator. The other coil, the wire comes off and goes to the other part of the commutator. And it's split. I mean, it's major split. 180 degrees. And uh, you'll see uh, you, it's a two-pole motor, motor. When I press down the switch, it won't move. I will have to actually get it get to start. And the most difficult part in this motor is how you align the brushes. The brushes are it's kind of hard right here. That comes up and delivers the electricity to the commutator, and you have to align those brushes just properly. Uh, you don't make it too tight, you don't make it too loose, but just right, and the thing will work. So we have the power source, we have the axle, the armature, the commutator, the brushes, and then the fixed or static motor. Again, the uh, armature creates is is an effect in an electromagnet, and it creates a force that interacts with the uh, static or fixed motor. So here we go. I'll press down the uh, switch. Nothing happens. You have to kind of get it started. And it takes off and runs. This is a very inexpensive motor. I think you can get them for like two dollars and you can assemble them. And the key thing is the uh, commutator but most important are the brushes. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next video.